Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add conditional formatting to a SharePoint online list. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials that I publish. Now let's go ahead and let's check it out. All right, now conditional formatting in the context of a SharePoint online list essentially allows you to define rules that will change the appearance of a particular field at a column level. So you define these rules on a specific column, and then if that rule is triggered, then the corresponding field of that column is going to be altered based on what you have defined in your rule. So what we're gonna do to start is I am going to show you how to do this a couple of different ways. And the first rule we'll build is going to check the status of a particular task. So as you can see here, I have a simple SharePoint online list that I'm using to track the status of tasks. So I have an identifier, an actual task description, uh, who the task is assigned to, the status, a due date, and then a yes no field that shows whether this task is on the critical path. Now the first conditional formatting rule that we'll build will check the status of the task and depending on what state a task is in, it's going to change the color of that particular cell or field uh, for a particular item. Now to apply conditional formatting, what you want to do is you want to click on the column that you want to create your rule in. In this case, I'm going to click on task status. Then you want to click on column settings and you want to click on format this column. That's going to bring up the format column menu and you can see here that by default, um, given that this particular column is a choice type, uh, the preferred formatting or the default formatting is choice pills, you want to come down and select conditional formatting. Now you can see here you have a few different options. Um, if you wanted to just apply a blanket format to this column that will always apply um, without any sort of conditions, you could click on this show all values as and you could click on this little A with the pencil and you could select a color. And again, what that's going to do is it's just going to change uh, the format for that column without implementing any unique rules. Now, I don't want to do that, so I'm just gonna click on no styles here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on add rule, and this is where you can actually come to build out some specific rules. So I'm gonna build a few different rules. I'll show you how to do it once, and then I'll just do it for the other two options, given that it's the same steps. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to click into the choose a column and I am going to select task status. Next, I'm going to click into the choose a comparison field and here I'm going to select is equal to. You can see you also have the option of selecting is not equal to, so you have uh, both options there. So I'm gonna select is equal to and then the last option here is to actually choose the value that you want this rule to be based on. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with planned. So essentially what this rule is saying is if the task status is equal to planned, then apply this particular formatting. And you can see that this first item in my list, which has a status of planned, changed to the blue uh, cell highlight. So, and again, if you wanted to actually change the color, you could click on the little A with the pencil and change uh, the color value. So I'll go ahead and set this uh, to the cyan blue here. And so you can see again that changes and I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And I've now created a rule. So anytime you add an item to this list where the status equals planned, it's automatically going to apply that conditional formatting. All right, now what I've done is I've gone in and added some additional rules to cover the additional statuses. So you can see here uh, where a status is planned, the actual field is going to be blue, where the status is in progress, it will be yellow, and where the status is completed, it will be green. And you can see those rules that I've set up um, on the conditional formatting menu. Now what I'll do is I'll click save, and I will close this menu. Now let's say you wanted to edit or delete an existing rule. Again, what you want to do is you want to click on the column header dropdown and you want to click on column settings and you want to click on format this column. 
and you want to scroll down and again on the conditional formatting menu option you can see this button that says manage rules and when you click on that it's going to show you these rules and if you wanted to actually edit them or delete them you want to click on these three dots and you can see you have the option to click edit rule or delete it and that's how you can go in and actually amend particular rules all right, now the next thing that I'm going to show you is how to again apply conditional formatting, but this time what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule that is based on dates. And specifically, we're going to apply some conditional formatting that checks whether a specific task is late. Now our definition of late is going to be where the due date is earlier or before today. Okay, so again, if the due date is earlier than the current date, then we are going to highlight that field red so that we can see that that task is late. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to close the conditional formatting menu. And the next thing that you want to do is click on the drop down in your due date column. And I'm going to click on column settings and click on format this column. Then I'm going to click on conditional formatting. And this time I'm going to click on add rule. And in the first choose a column, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select due date. And in the choose a comparison field, I am going to select is before. So again, our definition of late is if the due date is before the current date, then we're gonna flag that task as red to indicate that it is late. So again, I'm gonna select is before and in the choose or type of value, when I click on this, what you're going to see is you have the option to, to select today or a specific date. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select today and you'll notice it's relative, which means that whenever an item is edited, it's always going to refer to that current date. So I'm gonna select this and what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and change this to red and what you'll notice is that I have two tasks that the due date is earlier than the current date. So today is October 23rd and you can see here this first item had a due date of October 21st and the third item also had a due date of October 21st and you can see that these fields are highlighted red so that we can easily see that these tasks are late in this example. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save and then I'm gonna click close. So we've looked at how to implement conditional formatting with choice columns. We've looked at how to implement it with date columns. The last thing that we'll look at is how to implement conditional formatting using Boolean columns or yes, no columns. So this critical path has a data type of yes, no, uh, and you'll notice that it is displayed as a checkbox. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and add a conditional rule that says if an item has been marked as being on the critical path, then we want to highlight that a different color. So again, to implement conditional formatting, you want to click on the column dropdown and you want to click on column settings. Then you want to click on format this column. And again, you want to click on conditional formatting. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on add a rule. And this time in the choose a column, we're going to select the critical path column. And in the choose a comparison field, we are going to select is equal to. And in the choose a type field, we're going to select yes. And so again, if an item has been marked as being on the critical path, then I'm going to go ahead and highlight this red. And you can see here those changes have been made. Now, if perhaps you wanted to add multiple conditions into the conditional formatting, uh, so for example, if we wanted to implement a secondary check, such as if an item is marked on the critical path and it's late according to our definition, then highlight it red, what we can do is after you build your first condition, you can come down and select add condition. And you'll notice here that it adds an end if now, if you click on this dropdown, you can choose whether or not it should be an and or an or. And in this case, we're going to implement a rule that says if an item has been marked as yes on the critical path and it is late in that the due date is before or earlier than the current date, 
then we want to highlight this red. So I'm gonna select end if here, and this time in the choose a column, I'm going to select due date. And in the choose a comparison field, this is going to be the exact same as the previous conditional formatting rule we implemented, where we're going to select is before. And in the type of value field, we're gonna to select today. And then we can go ahead and set, select save and close. So we've now implemented uh, this conditional formatting rule that has multiple conditions. So for example, uh, if I go ahead and edit this grid and change the due date for this first item to a date in the future, say October 29th, and I go ahead and save this, What you're going to notice is that it's no longer highlighted red in the due date column because it's not late. And you'll also notice that it's no longer highlighted red on that critical path item. So that allowed us to actually incorporate multiple conditions. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to implement conditional formatting on a SharePoint online list. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like it and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on the latest SharePoint online tutorials. I'm Louis Acabalas. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.